over here aka the braid goddess so tomorrow i'm going on vacation i'm going to mexico and i was like i want to do a colorful braid look so i don't even know what it like inspired that did i how did that happen <laughs> We just, just wanted for your vacation. Just <laughs> something random. So I found a really cool vendor on Instagram and I asked if they would send me some colorful hair. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, dope. Because I never see colorful braiding hair. Or if I do, it's like, it's kind of dark. And this company has a really a vibrant, pigmented pastel color. So I'm going to show you some of them. Dope Head Cartel. And these are some of the colors that we got that she sent. I'm a young girl entrepreneur, so make sure y'all go support. I'm going to put a um, discount code in the description box so you guys can get a discount. If you guys want some really cool, colorful braiding hair, we're going to do a, a style. I don't know how it's going to look here because we never did colorful hair, but we're going to find out. There you go. Let's get started. <laughs> final product it looks so cute and so original and different i love it i love i love i love it can't wait to be on the beach now that i have pink i have to pack tonight and find outfits that are going to like go with it because i can't wear like, what color can i not? i can't wear like green yeah yeah no i can't wear like blue yeah, but I can wear pinks and reds and oranges, like the little pastel colors. Cute! Yes! Dominique, come get in the frame! Dominique looks so cute. She she knows she want to be seen today. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be real ghetto now. She knows she want to be seen. Come get the camera. This is Dominique. Hey. So if you guys are in Atlanta, what are we going to call this? What's this look called? Um, I feel like I'm like... Um, Malibu's, Malibu's most wanted. Wanted. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Malibu. <laughs> Malibu. Malibu's <laughs> the Malibu. Malibu look like Starbucks. Malibu Barbie. Yeah. Yeah. Barbie braids. Barbie braids. Yeah, the pink Barbie, Barbie braids. braids. Yes. So if you guys want this done, if you guys are in Atlanta, make sure you book her. She's got a sweet now. I still haven't been to it. I, I got to bring her a sweet woman present. Make sure you guys check out Dope Head Cartel and use my uh, discount code that I'm going to put in the description box if you guys want to buy some fun pastel bright colors. And they also have other different colors. So make sure you guys go and check them out. And I'm going to post a picture and so is Dominique and probably so is Dope Head Cartel. So you guys go and leave a whole bunch of just leave a whole bunch of rainbows or pink emojis if you leave a whole bunch of rainbows or pink emojis no do rainbow do rainbow yeah rainbow. see rainbow 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 <laughs> that's it that's it so go leave a rainbow thank you so much for you guys for watching this video packing and I'm going to pack with you because I need to pack I'm going on vacation a quick little trip um, I would say tomorrow but it's actually literally in like a couple hours <laughs> so I'm always so last minute packing but I'm glad that I have a lot of the things that I already need ready so my packing is usually quick but I am always last minute anytime I go on vacation I always get braids like i'll throw a couple of pictures up of me on vacation i usually always get braids because i just hate dealing with my hair with the salt water my hair is naturally curly so it gets really dried and frizzy so braids are a great protective style and also makes my hair look cute the whole entire trip and i don't have to worry about it I just wake up and go all right let's get started packing 
so I got on my knees for this portion because I'm going to pull my suitcase out right here so you guys can see everything that I'm packing how I situate everything so first of all this is my luggage right here it is a carry-on and also a beauty case so usually when I travel somewhere I always bring a carry-on I hardly ever check a bag even if I'm going somewhere really far away I can usually stick everything that I need inside of a tiny carry-on even when I pack my daughter's stuff I am really good at packing <laughs> so I am able to fit it all in a carry-on and you don't have to worry about your luggage being lost by the airline or anything like that or if you had something really important in there and now you can't get to it so so much easier I would suggest always bring a carry-on if you can okay and now the next thing is this is my holy grail of packing I have an overnight slash trip pack list so I send this to all my friends and they always use it they pull it up on their phone anytime we're traveling anywhere because I literally haven't forgot a thing on here so I will put this in the description box so you have my list of the things that I need now clearly we all have different needs because you know we're different people we pack different ways we pack different things but this is stuff that me and my girlfriends always need I usually can remember everything I need but there are a couple things on here that I'd be like oh dang I do need that so that's another thing make your own list edit my list if you want to to a way that formats you and your traveling needs because it is so convenient you just won't forget anything Okay, so I just popped open my suitcase and as you can see, there's a, not a lot of space in here. So I really have to condense everything, especially since I have like an oddly shaped carry-on. <laughs> it's different from regular rectangle. So <clears throat> this guy right here, these are airtight bags. I use these on all my trips. You can order them on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I ordered like a box of like 20 of them and I had given them to some of my girlfriends like Lolo, Brittany, and Kyra for a present i forget for what but they loved them it's just such a practical gift and all you do is fill your clothes up with this well kind of fill it up to like right here and then you zip it up and you literally just roll it until the air comes out of it and so you have this really compact bag of clothes and you don't have all the air and you get to squeeze a lot of stuff in here and it really condenses it for you those are usually the first thing that i pack i already have some stuff right here i'm gonna look in my drawers and see what other bathing suits i need i usually just count the days how many days i'm gonna be there days nights and pack from there another thing i do i know i'm giving you all these tips at once is i roll up all of my clothing items this is just a bathing suit so these aren't much to roll but let me show you what i'm talking about so this dress right here all i would do is i would take it and then i would roll it really 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 tight until it's in a really tight little guy like this and in the bag. another thing that i always pack is a robe i just love to have a nice comfortable robe or something really comfortable to slip into after I get out of the shower or if I'm trying to do my makeup and get ready and I don't want my outfit on yet so always pack a robe I have tons of robes and yeah I just grab one stick it in there so I'm gonna leave my bag open because I know I'm gonna keep adding stuff in there I'm not done but I want to move on to something else next I always take another bag a spare bag this is not one of the air compressed ones this is just a regular 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 bag that i could put dirty clothes in i have a dirty clothes one i just don't know where it's at at the moment so anyways any bag will suffice a plastic bag will suffice but just something that you can put your dirty clothes in and i fold everything really neat so i create the most space in my bag next thing is my makeup I usually don't use a lot of makeup when I go on vacation. I usually just don't wear it, but I always like to bring it just in case we have a night out or we want to get dressed up and cute and take pictures. So I really love this bag. Lolo bought it for me. It's <laughs> dang near coming apart. I need to buy a new one. I'm just too lazy. But it's this nice little 
bag that you can just open up and all of your makeup is just like laid out for you so you don't have to like rummage through things because it opens up really 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 wide so i just put it there this is my normal makeup box that i have just in my house this is the makeup i wear all the time of course i have other makeup but this is like my main makeup and i just take this throw it in my makeup bag and I really only pack makeup I know I'm going to wear, like my everyday staple makeup items. My lip gloss, my lashes, I always, always, always have some type of chapstick on me because I just can't stand my lips being dry. And I just take my core, core staple stuff. I don't want to create a lot of bulky stuff in my bag. So I try to keep this really limited. Okay, after I got my makeup all organized, Next is my toiletry bag. I fit all of my toiletries into this bag and I love, love, love travel size stuff. Like, I just love travel size stuff. I am always buying the little containers and bottles. So I'm gonna show you guys what I personally put in my toiletry bag. So first, I have my spin brush for my face. Always take that body lotion i labeled it on here i don't know if you guys can see but i just put body lotion on here i just put whatever my favorite lotion is just keep refilling this guy up I told y'all i can't stand for my lips to feel dry or ashy or anything like that so i always keep a miniature vaseline or something to lubricate my lips this little guy right here is body scrub i love this body scrub it smells so good it comes in a huge container but of course I got a little travel size thing so I could put this on here because when I go to the beach or whatever, you know, your skin can feel like really dry. So I love to swap off the old skin. So body scrub. Edge control. I got a miniature one because when I went there, I said, what's your guys' best edge control? And he's like, oh yeah, this big one. I said, dang, it's not going to fit in my um, luggage. He said, oh, we have a mini size one. So just always ask if they have a mini size one. So edge control and uh, baby hair toothbrush. This is some SPF. I wouldn't suggest it. it's not my favorite but it's spf 50 and it's the one i have right now so just whatever face lotion moisturizer that has spf in it so this is my facial cleanser i just transferred it from its big bottle into one of these travel size bottles perfect and in here i just got a ziploc bag cotton pads i have q-tips and i have dental floss so just put that all in a little baggie Next, I have this St. Ives facial scrub. I like this. I could use the other one too. The other one has bigger crystals in it, and I feel like it's more so for my body. This one is smaller, little crystallized things in it, so I like it to exfoliate my face with. Favorite toothpaste, Crest 3D White. Miniature. I usually just transfer my body wash into a empty travel size one, but I saw these at Target, so I was like, this is the same, one of the same body washes I use, so I'm like, I'll just buy it. But body wash and i still have so much room in here like this thing is empty right now so two things i bought this it's spf spray on nice little small one and i'm not taking this with me on this trip but it's nice to have me and my daughter nova we are very prone to getting bit by bugs mosquitoes all that and so i like that i found this little travel size off uh, bug spray just in case she goes with me somewhere or we go somewhere where I know it's probably gonna be a lot of bugs this is just my little concoction of my body shimmer I love to be shimmery and sparkly and pretty and girly so I just stuck some in a little bottle and just stuck it in here and I have your soap bar soap I do have the body wash but I love a bar soap I have to have both of them I'm not on my cycle but I always have a spare tampon in my bag just in case. Clearly, if I was on it, I'd bring more. But since I'm not and I don't plan on being, I'll just bring one just in case. Mario Badescu. This is the lavender, chamomile, and aloe spray. I love, love, love this. It's just like really refreshing. And also, when I go out of town and I have braids, my scalp be hurting because the sun is hitting it so this is a nice little relief for it so have this i just bought this and i thought it would be so important it's a mini first aid kit so it has band-aids and oops 
band-aids and gauze and some ointment in here and hand sanitizer so I think it's just important because um, last time when I traveled somewhere I needed a bandage and I just didn't have one so I I think I'm just gonna take this out of the box. The box is a little too much for me. I'm just gonna take a band-aid and I'll probably take the cleansing wipe. Let's take two band-aids. It'll be good and I'll have this for next time. Toothbrush, I like this one, closes. I usually toss my toothbrushes after I go somewhere because even like this I feel like closing it it's like it's all dirty and stuff and so yeah I'm like a germaphobe so I also always buy I have them over here but extra toothbrushes and extra toothbrush caps just for when I go somewhere so I have a pack of them but I just saw this one so I just grabbed this thing right here is my hair cap little silky hair cap nice to have to protect your hair doesn't get all crazy looking and then some deodorant I didn't get a travel size one because I didn't see one I don't use any deodorant that has aluminum in it and so I just didn't see any aluminum free travel size ones they only had like secret or lady speed stick small ones and I don't wear that and this actually isn't even the uh, deodorant that I wear all the time I might go grab my one from upstairs that I wear all the time but just in case I forget the one upstairs, I'm gonna pack this one. And if you know me, you know I like to stay smelling good, so I pack a perfume with me. Love the way this perfume smells, smells so good. Everybody always says I smell so good. I'm just like obsessed with smelling good, so that's just that. So I pack this, make sure it's under 3.4 ounces. And yeah, that's pretty much what I pack in here. Give or take, sometimes it's different stuff, but you see perfectly it fits in here. I have space. I could add some more stuff in case I forgot anything, which is what I would go back and look at my list for, but I'm pretty sure I got everything, so throw that in there. Now I'll go on to my backpack, what I'll be wearing, what I'll be grabbing stuff out of. So usually I take a backpack. I don't like to have to carry something on my arm, like tote something like this. I just wanna throw it on, have it on, perfect. So. First things first is always have your wallets and I have stuff in my other purse so I have to take stuff out of here. So I have my other phone in here. Stick that in there. Cash money. Gotta have some cash in travel. Your ID, don't forget your ID. These are all my little credit cards right here. So, wallet check. My ear pods, make sure they're in here. My ear pods, isn't my ear pod case the cutest? How cute is that, Pink Panther? Cute. So, ear pod case. Another perfume, like I said, I love to smell good. Mini size perfume, keep one in my bag. Who would I be if I didn't have some Jane Nova Collection lip gloss? I already packed some in my makeup bag, but you have to have some in your backpack. Also, like I said before, I don't like being dry, so I always, I always carry a little hand, uh, a little hand lotion with me. Major, major. If you're going out of the country, do not forget your passport. Always pack it in advance. Put it in your suitcase. Put it somewhere that you're gonna have easy access to it, keep it safe, keep your passport, so. Passport check. As one thing you would hate is to get to the airport and you don't have your passport. This, I always take one of these. I just recently, as of this year, cannot sleep on the plane without an eye mask. I'm gonna get a cuter one. This one's from Hawaii, I mean, it's cute and all, but I am gonna get a better one. But I have to sleep with this because the light just wakes me up so easily so always bring one in my backpack so I can easily just grab it. Sunglasses, which you can shop these sunglasses on my website. It's gonna be in the description box. Portable charger. Now this is gonna be my charger I use for the whole trip because I don't know where my other charger is. DC keeps taking all of the chargers, but then he keeps leaving all of these cool portable ones. So I'm like, all right. So portable charger, 
make sure that it's fully charged before you leave for your trip that's another thing i charge up all my devices before i leave for a trip because i got time my laptop i edit a lot of videos on planes i get a lot of work done doing that so with my laptop comes I have to have my external hard drive i have to have my memory card reader i have to have headphones that fit that or i can use my ear pods so i just make sure all that stuff is in here which i already checked so that goes in here another thing that's really convenient when you're packing is if you have a lot of jewelry like i do there is things like this that you can buy you can like stick your rings on here and your earrings you can stick little things in here and flip it over like this little pouch hang your necklaces on here so I really like to use this when I'm traveling I'm not bringing too much jewelry with me out there so I like that this one lets me detach it and I have I think I have some like earrings in here but I mean I'm not gonna bring a, too much jewelry on a beach so this is really convenient another little random thing is the underwater phone case I don't ever really go underwater with it but I like it because it's nice to have on the beach so that I don't get a whole bunch of sand and stuff in my phone um, there was one time we were really really close to the current and it kept getting closer and closer and some of our stuff got like washed away and this is where this would be convenient to have your stuff to stick it in there but I had a waterproof bag so it worked out Another thing ladies, it is always nice to have a little purse with you. So I love, love, love this one. This one's from Pretty Little Thing and I like it because I can match this with anything. So whatever outfit I brought, this is going to match with it. I just have a little purse so I don't have to bring my backpack with me. I don't have to tote that around. So my little nice cute purse and it's small and it can be flattened out when I don't have anything inside of it. Another thing I have on my list, I have a lot of things on my list that you guys will see in the description box, but is kind of like sandals that I don't mind getting wet or messed up. I know these are Gucci sandals. Um, people usually would use like some old navy sandals. I don't know where mines are at and I've just had these for so long I like don't mind that's why they're all like dirty on the side and stuff so these are kind of my like whatever sandals if I want to walk to the beach with them but yeah definitely have a pair of sandals and I wear these to the airport too so they're like dual comfort because I wear them um, with some socks because I don't like my feet to be cold on the plane so I like that I can slide them on slide them off and I'll have these I'm gonna go upstairs and go get my other sandals. Oh, I have some really pretty sparkly sandals that um, I'll wear. Like if we're doing something cute, I'm not gonna wear those freaking sandals or anything else, <laughs> but to go on the beach or to the pool. And I've packed all my clothes. I have my underwear in here. I have all my outfits. And all I did was roll this, roll this, and squeeze all of the air out of it. And now you see I have four days worth of clothes all in here i have literally everything in here <laughs> granted girls clothes are way smaller than guys clothes so i don't know if this will really work that well for guys clothes maybe like t-shirts and stuff like that but girls clothes skimpy 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 this is perfect so that is pretty much it anything that i don't immediately pack in my suitcase that i know i still need to grab for the morning i just go to my notes and i make a separate note like right now i didn't just pack the sparkly sandals that are my like cute sandals so i just write them in a note so i know before i walk out the door i have to especially check this other list i'm such a list person i just like making lists and of course there are some things in here that i didn't mention that i'm not bringing like i have a daughter so i have a list for her i have a dog so i'll have a list for him it's just really so i don't forget anything oh just thought about it speaker that's on my list too i didn't grab it though because it's upstairs too um so i'll just literally sit here and go through the list and make sure i have everything on here also while i do while i'm getting ready is i lay out my outfit that i'm going to wear to the airport so i have that all all laid out and I didn't mention some things like i didn't mention a lot of hair products because i already have my hair in braids if my hair wasn't in braids i would have a travel size thing for my conditioner and any hairspray i bought this ladies which is a really cute and convenient it's a mini um blow dryer 
so if you're the type of person who blows dries your hair i usually use it to diffuse my hair but it's so tiny so it's really convenient if you flat iron your hair a lot i would suggest you get one of those mini flat irons i don't really flat iron my hair so i don't have one but i bought one for my girlfriend for christmas because she does and also check the weather i have an umbrella you know i check i check the weather before i go to make sure of what kind of outfits i'm going to bring if it's going to be nice and bright and sunny i bring that type of thing if it's, it's going to be cold and snowy or rainy then i bring things for that type of situation and another thing i have is i have a pill case i just don't know where it is right now i have two of them i don't know where either of them are but i usually take my probiotics with me and my birth control and my symbiotics so I have a couple of different pills that I take daily and I have a pill case. I just don't know where they're where it's at right now. I'm probably gonna have to bring my medicine or your pills with you, vitamins, whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I want you guys to see like that tiny suitcase. I have so much space still in there. Like I could pack some more stuff, but I just don't need it. So I really am able to condense everything down just by keeping everything in a smaller container and that airtight bag to condense it down all my clothes. stuff in my suitcase over here so i am good to go thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like videos like this make sure you like subscribe comment share all of that good stuff and i will see y'all